Hey everyone, it's Jenna. So today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. I've been thinking of ways recently of making my booktube channel a little bit more unique. I just wanted to kind of change things up a bit, jazz it up a little bit, and I came up with an idea and we will see how this goes. I am very excited to start reading The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead and I just know it's going to be one of those books that I'm going to want to review. So my plan is, as I'm reading this book, I'm also going to be reviewing it in a vlog format. So as I'm reading it, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts as I go along in video form, and then I will put it all together at the end to compile a vlog style book review. So I've never seen this done before. I'm really interested to see how this goes. And at the end, I really want you guys to tell me whether or not you liked this and whether or not you think it worked. Um, I generally don't do very well when filming like formal book reviews. For some reason, I just get super tongue-tied and I get very concerned that I'm not being very articulate enough or that I'm not able to express what I truly am thinking and feeling about the books that I read. I get super self-conscious and it's just this endless downward spiral and I wind up putting off book reviews and I don't want to do that anymore because this is a booktube channel. I want to be able to review books. So anyway, I'm trying something a little bit different and I'm going to see if this works better for me. So let me know if you like this. So without further ado, let's get on with this vlog style book review. Hey guys, <laughs> so it is early in the morning before I have to go to work today. Um, today's Friday. Um, I don't even know what the date is. Um, anyway, so I thought I would share with you my current thoughts on the Underground Railroad um, and in this vlog style review. Um, so the first 20 pages or so, I struggled to get into it, um, but I don't think that was anything to do with the book. I was just um, kind of in a reading slump after finishing um, Uprooted by Naomi Novik, which I loved so much. And as soon as I finished that one, I was just in the mood to read something very similar to Uprooted, and obviously this is not similar at all. Um, but so yeah, it took me a little bit to get into it, but after I want to say like the first 20 or so pages, I was in it um, because I can just tell the tension was just um, just building and building. And now when their journey, um, Cora and Caesar, their journey has started. Um, and if you've read this, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so things are starting to speed up a little more as far as pacing goes so I'm just very excited to get into it and I will check in with you guys when I'm a little bit further in. So I'm about 30-ish percent of the way through with the Underground Railroad. I am reading the physical book as well as listening to the book on CD as I'm driving to and from work every day. Um, and I really am liking it. I think the writing is hauntingly beautiful and it does not shy away from the atrocities committed to these slaves in America at the time. And it's very uncomfortable to read sometimes, but I think it's really important that we have these pieces of literature out there just as a reminder of what really happened in America um, not so incredibly long ago, and it's just scary to think about. Um, but anyway, I am enjoying it. Now, this book, I've noticed, has been marketed just... Like, it makes it seem like the book is really, truly about this underground railroad being a literal underground railroad like when everybody is talking about this book that's all that they can really seem to talk about is the fact that it's a real underground railroad but so far I've only and this isn't a spoiler or anything um but so far I've only 
come across one scene that actually involves the physical underground railroad so I'm kind of wondering like why people emphasize that so much about this book because it's really about Cora um, our main character and her journey um, along with her um, friend and former um, like fellow plantation worker um, their journey together it's not really about the underground railroad so yeah, um, I wouldn't say I'm really disappointed in that. It's just, it's not exactly what I expected, but I'm still really enjoying it. Um, I will be continuing on with the audiobook for sure, just so I can get through it a little bit faster. And yeah, I will check in with you guys when I'm a little bit further in. This book is so heavy, you guys. There's just no hope right now. Um, it's just incredibly heavy. Like, that's what I'm feeling when I'm reading it right now. Um, it's so good and so thrilling, but just so incredibly sad and scary. It's just heavy is the word that I'm com that comes to mind when I'm trying to describe this. Um, so I'm about halfway through the Underground Railroad. Um, and... Yeah, I'm going to have to read something a little bit lighter after this. I'm thinking about picking up um, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass um, and to reread it in preparation for the new book that's coming out in May. Um, but anyway, I just, I'm going to have to read something light after this because this is just really, really intense. I don't, I'm not very squeamish. I'm not like... I don't get like too easily shocked I would say when it comes to books but there have been a few moments in here where I was just like what I mean audibly I would say oh my gosh and my husband would be like what is wrong with you and I'm like you don't understand what's going on in this book right now it's just so crazy um, and I know this is a work of fiction but and I don't know how much research I'm assuming a ton of research went into writing this novel um but I mean it's it's based on reality um the reality of America in late 18 mid to late 1800s so it's just crazy but I'm still really enjoying it um still would definitely recommend it so we'll see how it goes as I get further in hey guys so I finished the underground railroad last night and I really liked it I ended up giving it four stars. I thought everything was extremely well developed. The characters and the setting, um, just how Colson Whitehead was describing everything. It, I just thought everything was very vivid. Um, it, the book made me feel things. Um, throughout Cora's journey, I just found myself um, breathless at a lot of times. Um, or just a lot during this story because it just seemed like no matter what she did, no matter where she ran, something would always happen and she would ultimate, like she would almost be dragged back to where she was before. So it was kind of like you have this hope for her that she's going to eventually make it to a good place, but then you also are just so scared at the same time. So you're really feeling her emotions, which I thought the author did a great job with that. Um, I didn't know if I fully connected with Cora's character very much throughout the entirety of the story, um, but I don't think that I consider that a bad thing. I did give it four stars and not five, mainly because of that reason, but I just, I don't know. Right now I'm just kind of riding the high of finishing it so I'll probably film another clip once I've had time to process my feelings about it but I definitely highly recommend it. It was a hard read at times. It just made me feel very uncomfortable but I think it's a necessary read and I'm very glad that it exists so I will see you guys soon with more developed thoughts. Okay so final thoughts on the Underground Railroad. I definitely think that it's one of the best books that I've read in 2017 so far. I almost said 2016. Um, 
but I don't know if it's one of my favorites. I definitely thought the writing was beautiful, hauntingly beautiful, like I mentioned earlier. Um, and I thought his descriptions were just spot on. And there was so much emotion and feeling in these words. Um, so I, I thought it was fantastic. However, just because it was, I mean, there's hope at the end, which was what I was hoping for. But I still don't know if I loved it. I definitely really, really liked it. Um, and I'm always like going back and forth between like a five star book and one of my favorite books. So just because I rate something five stars or 4.5 stars doesn't necessarily mean that it's one of my favorite books of all time. It just means that like I really liked it or I really loved it. So I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. But the point is, is that I really liked the Underground Railroad. I highly recommend that you pick it up if you are at all interested in it. It was very, very good, and I just think it's just very high quality writing. So, yeah, those are all of my thoughts on the Underground Railroad. I hope I um, intrigued you about this book because I definitely think everybody should read it. Um, and I also hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog style book review. I will see how it turns out when I put all these little clips together and let me know if you like the way that I structured this because I find that I can, like I don't do very well with just sitting down and trying to get all my thoughts out at one time while filming, filming book reviews and that's why I haven't filmed one in a, in a really long time even though there have been times when I've wanted to. So I think this kind of vlog style review is going to be better for me because as I, <clears throat> excuse me, as I think of new thoughts about the books that I've read, I can just kind of sit down and casually film right then and there without having to like try to gather them all at one time, if that makes any sense. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you thought and if you'd like to see another one from me or if it was a complete fail and you prefer traditional book reviews, book review videos. Um, but yeah, I have to go. I have to go into church right now. But I will see you guys very soon with a new bookish video. Have a great day.